please allow me to show you in the Old Testament where Christ shows up. In Genesis, Christ is the seed of Eve in Genesis 3.15. In Exodus, he is the Passover lamb, a foreshadow of his death for man. In Leviticus, he is typified by the high priest who according to Hebrews would empathize with our needs. In Numbers, he is the cloud by day and the fire by night. He is the bronze snake to look upon who would cure the bite. In Deuteronomy, he is the prophesied prophet to come. This prophet is not Muhammad as prescribed by Islam. The book of Joshua's biggest boast is knowing Jesus is the captain of the Lord's host. In Judges, we see Jesus in the way the chosen leaders dealt with injustice. In the book of Ruth, Boaz is the kinsman redeemer, which points to a bigger truth. In 1st and 2nd Samuel, Kings and Chronicles, all in one, he is the prophet, the priest, the king of kings, and the wisdom of Solomon. In Ezra, he is the great restorer of hope. In Nehemiah, he's the one that restores what's broke. In the book of Esther, symbolically speaking, Jesus is the providence behind the scenes that's always working. In Job, we see that suffering certainly exists, but greater than that is this, and it's knowing that my Redeemer lives. In the Psalms, he is the song of the soul through any tragedy. He is the shepherd who is with us in the valley. In Proverbs, he is the wisdom given. In Ecclesiastes, he's our purpose for living. In the Song of Solomon, we see the love of Christ for his church. And through the pages of Isaiah, we see the suffering servant emerge. When we read Lamentations in Jeremiah, these heavy pages personify the weeping Messiah. In Ezekiel, the term son of man is brought to our awareness. In Daniel, he's the son of God in the fiery furnace. In Hosea, he is the faithful husband to our adultery. And in Joel, he is the spirit promised to fall after Calvary. In Amos and Obadiah, he is the deliverer from oppression. In Jonah, a perfect picture of the resurrection. In Micah, prophetically, Jesus' birthplace is revealed. In Nahum, tragically, it is clear that judgment is real. In Habakkuk, a promise, the just shall live by faith. In Zephaniah, a problem, the day of the Lord is in place. So in Haggai, a proclamation, give careful thoughts to your ways. In Zechariah, he is prophesied to arrive in Jerusalem on a cult. And in Malachi, he is the son of righteousness, the one the gospels would eventually behold. He is God incarnate. He is the word became flesh. To know him is to love him and to always have life over death.